I recently came across this in the garbage. It's a chair, like a two-person chair. And this is a fiberglass chunk. It's in pretty rough shape. Obviously, it's on its side. This is the bottom, and that's the back. It also has a stainless steel frame that, like, kind of holds it. Here's the frame. Some of it is in really good shape, but then this part is really... I mean, it's been in salt water. Even though it's stainless steel, it's, you know... The salt water would still rust if it's not really high quality stainless steel and you know it's got two of the legs but the other two legs are broken off i think i'm not going to use this i'm going to end up cutting this up and using it for some other things now this thing i want to still use it as a chair because you know, it'll be a pretty good chair not sure what it'll do for legs yet but first i just want to fix this part up and i'm thinking if I put fiberglass along the back, because this is made out of fiberglass, and I'm hoping it's polyester resin, not uh, epoxy. But it, it's probably polyester resin, because epoxy is a lot more expensive. And this doesn't look like it was that expensive of a thing. So anyway, I've started by taping paper pieces over, over any holes I find. And the paper, I've waxed it on one side, so if I put fiberglass here, it won't stick to the paper. It'll fill in the hole and I'll be able to take this off. Now, what am I going to do to fix this corner? I need some kind of like little mold thing to go over this. So that when I put the fiberglass in there, it'll fix the corner. And that one over there is in the same condition. The ones at the top are looking good though. Yeah, if I can just get these two corners figured out, I should be able to slap a layer or two of fiberglass over this whole thing and it should be strong. Another reason I want to do this is because I happen to have most of a gallon of polyester resin that I had to get for something where I just need to do this little repair on a boat. So I've got most of a gallon sitting there and that should be enough to do this chair. Well, I decided it wasn't necessary to get these curves perfect. So I just put some tape over with some waxed paper. That should be good enough. And that and that hole are the only ones I had to do. Everything else looks fine. There's some little butt drain holes so the chair doesn't fill with water. I can just re-drill those after. Uh, I gotta make sure I put some extra fiberglass reinforcement in here because there's a crack there. And you know, a little extra on the other side just to reinforce it so it doesn't Hmm, yeah, I think it's pretty much ready to go. Oh, fiberglass. Looks like a good spot. I've got a bag here of lots of fiberglass scraps. Hopefully there's a few pieces I can put on here and arrange correctly. And let's see, here's that polyester resin I've got left over from something else. Most of a gallon should be enough. If it's not, I don't have any more, so... Oh wow, this is just a lot of little scraps. Well, they will work, so I might as well do it. <laughs> oh, should I just go cut a new big piece off a roll? The problem is these are just gonna sit here for the next 20 years doing nothing if I don't use them. All right, let's do it. Well, those bits of fiberglass definitely got smaller than I was hoping. Whatever though, they'll all mush together when I get the resin on there. Um, well, we're having squash soup today. It's actually a few days later now. Uh, this is looking pretty good. Time to trim the edges. Yay. This is the worst part of fiberglass. No, this is not the worst part of fiberglass. Just <laughs> sanding. That's got to be the worst part of fiberglass, which is about to happen. 
Alright, I need both hands for this. Alright, camera. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I just need to get a bit of sandpaper, smooth that out. I don't want to touch it because I'm going to get itchy. Oh, sandpaper. Alright, I had some little tape fixes here. Let's see how those went. Looks like it's pretty good. Good enough. Not beautiful, but totally good enough. So it looks like my fiberglass reinforcements did pretty well. Much sturdier, sturdier than it was. Yeah. I also found some uh, white paint. Not, not really the color I would have chosen, but I had it, so whatever. Also, it's a little bit pink because my roller previously was using red. Anyway, it's also dirty because my kids have been playing with it. So, this thing's been sitting around for a week or two because I've been waiting to finish this fancy new kitchen area. So, this guy is going to be seating on this side. So now that this is done, I can figure out what height this needs to be and, you know, put the appropriately length legs and everything. Still got a lot of fiberglass stuff left over from this boat roof rack thing. Can't say angle grinding fiberglass is my favorite. Oh, luckily there's a good breeze taking the dust away. So I've got this guy and I'm thinking I could rivet it just on the inside of there. And I have another one for the other side. And I'll make two pieces back here, and then uh, then I'll worry about the reinforcements. Let me get those four legs on first. All right. Now for some reinforcements. Definitely need something across here and across the front. Pretty good. Maybe that's all it needs. Oh. Mostly the kids are getting sit in this and they weigh like nothing. Yeah. I'm calling it done. Alright. The kitchen is open for kids. Kids are definitely going to stand on the back of this. Alright! Yeah, that's good. Huh. Looks like my camera only has a few more seconds of memory left in it. I wonder what happens when it runs out. Sit down. Oh, hi! Hi! I'll take your brush. Hey, you're supposed to sit there. Sit down. Ow. Come on, sit in your seat. Ah, pretty good. Dude, do you, want, do you want to sit right here? Or do you want to sit there? Do you think three of you will fit? Three? Okay, sit right here. Could I sit on the 
die for yeah, the PS2? I guess so. <laughs> His feet are sticking out. <laughs>